West Virginia, the mountain state. Where mountaineers are always free. Yes, where mountaineers are always... Wait, what's that even mean? I don't know. It's the state motto or something. Okay. Hey, do you want to know what my motto is? Yeah, what? Ew. West Virginia, the 43rd largest state in the nation. Oh, 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 I can name the seven smaller states. Oh, 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 nobody cares. We're in Huntington, West Virginia to visit Camden Park, which is the largest amusement park in the state. Actually, it's the only amusement park in the state. Considering its status, you'd think it'd have more than one ticket booth. This park's been open for a hundred years. For nearly half that time, they've been home to the Big Dipper roller coaster. Hmm. Looks pretty safe. Yeah, it sounds pretty safe, too. You know, for a 50-year-old roller coaster in a small park in the corner of West Virginia, the Big Dipper's not that bad. It's got a few rough spots on it, but there's nothing unusual there. Now, if the Big Dipper is too much for you, you can always try the other coaster in the park, the Little Dipper. Yeah, um, that's a kitty coaster. It's for babies. And credit horse. Okay, here's my problem if I ride a kitty coaster. If I hold onto the bar, I look like a wuss. If I put my hands up, I look like an idiot. So I end up doing something that's kind of like this. You still look like an idiot. Yeah, I know. Moving on. Camden Park has an octopus ride. You know, I've always wanted to ride one of these, but they're kind of uncommon. Really? I didn't think they were all that rare. Well, I've hardly ever seen one, so I got my ride on. One of the oldest attractions at Camden Park is their carousel. It was originally constructed in 1925, but they've made some alterations to it since then. I loved the haunted house. It was built by Pretzel Amusement Ride Company, and not many of their rides are still with us today. Its operating system is pretty simple. After a chain, hoist your car up to the second level of the ride, you turn a corner, and gravity takes it from there. I'm pretty sure I'm a little turn there. But keep in mind, this sucker is old school. There aren't any animatronic figures in there. The scares in the haunted house are mostly derived from spooky noises and strobe lights. And I'm not going to talk about the braking system because, frankly, I didn't get the dude's name. Oh, that's Jason. He's in my circle. You got me. Another classic attraction at Camden Park is the Whip. Now, this ride was actually patented back in the 1920s by a dude named William F. Mangles. Ew, that's not a very good name for a ride inventor. Not really, no. Now, at first glance, the ride looks really simple. Cars go around in circles. Once you're on it, though, it's a whole other story. also has a few water attractions. In addition to the swan boats, they have a cute little flume set up. We didn't ride it though. Steve didn't want to mess up his hair. On select days, the park even has live music. Whoa. Is that Tammy Hagar? And the crowd goes wild. Yay. Ultimately, the bulk of the attractions at Camden Park are your standard issue twirl and hurl rides. You've got the flying scooters, a caterpillar ride, a scrambler, a roundup, paratrooper, Tilt twirl and a kite flyer. Now, if twirling and hurling isn't your bag, you can always pony up some cash and try out one of the ripoffs. Games. Same thing. I, wow, you kicked the yeah, shit out of my Yes, I did. I'm counting individual holes, Lee. Now, Karen was especially fond of the crazy fruit game. Would you mind explaining it to the viewers at home? I would love to. It's so simple. You drop quarters in, and they land on the shelf. You want them to fall off the shelf and push others over a ledge. Whatever drops is yours. It is really fun, and I am really good at it. I need more quarters. Kind of. Hey, are you, are you 
hungry? I can eat. Have anything in mind? All right, look, we're on an adventure here. Part of being on an adventure is, well, being adventurous. Part of being adventurous is stepping outside of your comfort zone. Sure, there's plenty of chain restaurants out there. They serve the same homogenized food in the same homogenous atmosphere. But hey, we're looking for something different. So we're pulling off right, oh, here. Ooh, I am totally out of my comfort zone right now. This is not the kind of place that shows up on the gas food lodging signs. This place is unique, and it has character to spare. But you know what? You don't come here for the character. You don't come here for the atmosphere. You certainly don't come here for the plush dining arrangements. Yes, that is a school bus. Yes, that is a window unit. You come here for one reason, and one reason alone. The weenies. Think of the strangest way you can prepare a hot dog. It's probably already on the menu at Hillbilly Hot Dogs, and it's probably really good. <laughs> I'm gonna have a deep fried hot dog, and I'm so excited! Oh my god, this is so delicious. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, this place has like 15 to 20,000 times more character than any place you just pulled off the interstate from. Find the good stuff.